Yeah, so we're watching the uh, 2022 88 kilogram finals. Um, Giancarlo Bodoni versus Lucas uh, Barboza. Uh, Barboza. Um, and I know a lot about Lucas. Um, I competed against him two times. I didn't submit him either time, um, which uh, when Giancarlo finished him, I was kind of, I was super happy, obviously, but I was like kind of pissed because I was like, fuck, I didn't get to submit him. Um, but I fought him the previous year. I fought him in 2019 ADCC in the 99 kilogram division. Um, and so now Hulk is in the 88 kilogram division against Giancarlo. Um, so this is a very interesting match because this used to be my division. I won this division in 2017, and now Giancarlo is competing, and uh, Lucas dropped down uh, from a heavier weight the previous year. So I knew going in that this was going to be a very tough match, a very physical match. These guys have fought before. They've both beaten each other. Uh, but I, I just, at this point, like Hulk has been training a lot. Um, he has his new school now in Oregon. Um, and I just think that Giancarlo has made such technical improvements. Like he's just improved like leaps and bounds um, since he moved uh, to Austin and started training with us. I just had the feeling going into this um, that he was going to be too much for Lucas. Um, Lucas is an amazing competitor. He's great at winning. Um, he's super, super physical. But, you know, I don't think Giancarlo is, you know, as experienced um, or as seasoned and fighting high level guys as Lucas, but he's he was just he was on this day. He was uh he was looking really good. So, you know, John Carlo has went, went in and you know, leading up to ADCC, there's been a couple of days where he's or a couple of even matches on the same day where he's super hot and he just crushed guys and then he was losing losing to guys that he shouldn't lose to. So I was like hopefully he's just on today. Like when he's on he can beat anybody in the world. Um and so I went into this and I was I was super excited for this and I was like if John Carlos on today and he shows up how he should he's gonna he's gonna win this match, so let's run through it. It's got a lot to live up to. A pair of great finals already in the books here at ADCC 2022. John Carlo has looked flawless, but the same can be said for the Hulk. Aggressive pace of kicking things off here. You know we're gonna see some great wrestling. As you mentioned before, uh, Hulk has definitely dropped down a weight, but. And so you see Lucas moving a lot in the beginning. The problem with this is, is 20 minutes regulation, potentially two 10-minute overtime. So it's a potentially 40-minute match. And you see John Carlos coming out pretty slow and lackadaisical, and Hulk is moving and fainting a lot. And you see why this is a mistake on Hulk's part as we get later in the match, because Hulk gets very, very tired um, later on in the match here. You see like, some good, good hand fighting here. You see... They're both doing a good job of stripping collar ties, not letting each other hang on one another's heads for long amounts of time. And all the Atos guys are very good at playing a pressure game, especially in the standing position, holding on guys' heads, hanging on their heads, making them tired. Um, so Hulk is no stranger to this. He, he understands what the game is here, and he's trying to be heavy on Giancarlo's head, and Giancarlo's clearing ties and getting to his head. Um, but you see already, because of Hulk's fainting in motion, he's already starting to stand a little more upright from here, and we're only two minutes in. Um, so John Carlos' stance is the same as it was in the beginning, and Hulk is standing a little bit more upright already. So um, I think Hulk is using a lot of energy, uh, too much energy, too early in the match to keep up with the pace needed for this finals level match. So nice shot by Hulk, good sprawl by John Carlo. He tries to go Ukewaza, but Hulk ends up on top. Good sprawl by uh, by Hulk, good base. Tries to go Ukewaza, but he kind of second-guessed himself. He didn't fully commit to the Ukewaza, so he kind of just ended up falling into a bottom guard position and then uh, didn't really fight to heist up because there's no points. You see from here, he tries to sit Ukewaza, and as he goes, to the, as he goes for Ukewaza, he's focused. He kind of second guesses himself on whether he wants to do it. I can kind of see he's kind of slow in this in the uh, in this position here, and you see from here when he falls, Hulk bases, and then he he slips his head, so the head comes out. So Giancarlo needed to do a better job of controlling the head and crunching the chin to the chest on the Ukewaza. The Ukewaza takes guys over. If you see, if you watch my 2017 finals match with Keenan, I actually, this is the move that I hit and finished him with the guillotine from Mount. Um, so uh, 
the, the, the key difference is Lucas, his head is kind of loose in here and, and pops out and there's no chin to chest action. So as soon as the head pops out, he just jumps back to the center line and then he, Giancarlo just loses the position because he lost the head. Um, he just needed to be a little bit tighter with the head. He needed to crunch the chin to the chest more to force Hulk into a forward roll over, the, over Giancarlo's right shoulder. And so you see now Hulk is trying to lock his hands up. And now Hulk has, he doesn't really have a pressure-based kind of style of passing. He's kind of got like an opportunistic passing style where he's, he's relaxed, 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 and he kind of just explodes into a pass and, and jumps past your legs. Um, and you see this kind of uh, classic Hulk passing style here where he waits, 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 and then it's just boom, one, one or two big explosive movements and he gets, gets past your legs. The problem with Hulk's passing though is that he will, he'll try to do long stepping without the gi, um, but you don't have the fabric of the jacket to grab when you're doing it with the gi. So, Collar ties don't really work as well because you can use just use backhand frames to clear the collar tie or V grips to clear the collar tie pretty easy from here. Um, so the long the long step style of passing doesn't really work nearly as well in no gi as it does as it does in the gi. And his long step passing is super good in the gi, um, but he, he doesn't have the ability, the technical ability to convert it um, no gi uh, and actually use it to effectively to pass guys good people's guards with the long step. Like I say, it can't work, but he tried it a few times here, and he tries to get to the head, but he just can't control the head through the collar tie because it's much different than grabbing the, the lapel. See John Carlo enters the legs here, but Hulk frees in the and actually does a good job of chasing the back. And you see he chases the back and fails to get the back, but ends up with the body lock and actually ends up past John Carlo's legs. Or from here, he steps over, and you see the, the critical thing here is that there's five minutes until points. So Giancarlo doesn't have to fight too hard from here to avoid a pass, but he doesn't want to end up in a katagatame where he's in a bad position or has his back taken and he's in a threat of a submission. Are you sitting mat side watching this match? Uh, I was in the stands. They would only let one person coach, so I couldn't be anywhere near the mats. They had a, uh, I was up in the stands watching. So you see from here, Hulk does a very good job of isolating the arm. John Carl actually made a mistake. He reached across and just gave Hulk the Kagatame grip. He didn't bring his hand inside. He brought it across the body and gave Hulk a Kagatame. So that was just a mistake on Giancarlo's part. Um, but you see, once Hulk actually passes, Giancarlo doesn't do any of those stupid things that don't work where you answer the phone or you try to grab inside your own legs. The only defense I've actually seen to high, that actually works for high-level Kalagatames is to expose your back by turning away from the Kalagatame and shooting your shoulder forward into the lock and exposing your back, which you see he does here and immediately escapes. Hulk goes to take his back and Giancarlo scrimmages back up to a standing position and now they're back up onto their feet. So good offensive attacking cycle by Hulk. Um, off of John Carlo's initial uh, engagement, um, but uh, he just doesn't have the technical ability to, you know, pin guys for any any amount of time. Like his whole thing is just to score with pins. But then, if you actually ask him to control pins, it's hard because he doesn't really practice that. He just scores and then wins. Um, so uh, he wasn't able to hold John Carlo down for really any amount of time or get close to his submission. He just passes guard and then Giancarlo escaped. And you see now from here, you see Hulk's body language at about the seven minute mark is starting to fall apart. His hands are coming out of position. He's standing more upright and you see f physically from watching, he's shaking his hands out. You can see from here, Hulk is very, very tired in this position. And uh, now Giancarlo is coming forward and looking to pick the pace up here. And we're not even halfway through the match yet. Points aren't even initiated. It's looking, it's looking bad for, for Hulk now. As time goes on, you just see him getting more and more tired. Tony cornered by Mr. John Danaher at the moment, and uh, Jonatas Gurgel coaching Lucas Hulk Barboza from Atos. 
12 minutes 45 seconds left in this matchup saw a lot saw some nice exchanges so far but uh, no points awarded because they see the more tired he gets the less disciplined he is with his hand position and the more john carlo gets to his head and that's when we will see points awarded but the more he gets to his head the more tired he gets the more tired he gets the less disciplined he is with the head with the hand position for the next two minutes at least and that's not a good sign Nice shot. That was a great shot by Vidal. You said she Giancarlo. It's a beautiful double leg there, beautifully timed. Shoots in, puts Hulk down right away. And you see the, the defensive posture from Hulk is just not there. He doesn't even attempt to get back up. He's he's very, very tired at this point. You see he breaks contact, and then instead of engaging in the hand fight, he shoots in, gets elbow deep with the right hand, and then immediately switches the head inside double. Hulk tries to post, he puts him down, and then Hulk doesn't even try to scrimmage back up to his feet, which he's not a very good bottom player, so he probably should have not accepted the takedown and tried to get back up. But he's, like I said, very tired at this point. He recovers the close guard, he's got his head on the floor. Um, you can tell he's tired from here. And he doesn't get up or anything. He kind of just rolls over into the into the center of the mat. You can tell it's not gonna it's not gonna be good from here on out. We're approaching the halfway mark in another two minutes, and Hulk is just 100% gassed. He's not necessarily in a terrible position with no. no points on the board. He can wrestle up with the best of them. Maybe he's gonna wait that out here from the bottom position. That's right. I mean, being in the guard is much better than having someone on the back of your turtle. That's Seemingly very fresh, so. Hulk on the bottom. As you mentioned, trying to wrestle up, but Doni shutting it down. Now back to the feet here. And so Hulk fights his way back up. Here it does a good job of using a wrestling exchange to just scramble back up to his feet. And now, get back on one another's heads. We've got 11 minutes to work from here. And you see how Hulk's pace slows. Giancarlo's slightly increases as time goes by. And you see Giancarlo's stance hasn't changed. He's been playing the same game. His body language is solid. Every time he clears Hulk, Hulk's shaking himself out. He's taking big, deep breaths. He's fighting through it, but you can visibly tell as a person watching, as the audience, that Hulk is considerably more tired than Giancarlo here. This was created. This was the proving ground to see who had the best grappling style. Judo was allowed, Samba was allowed, wrestling was allowed, and of course Jiu Jitsu, which basically reigned supreme with about 97% of all gold medalists being. Um, the finals is just longer, and uh, you know a lot of these guys have had you know, three hard matches, maybe potentially one hard semifinals match that day. Um, John Carl had a pretty easy semifinals match. I don't know who Hulk competed against in the semifinal. Who? Wagner, yeah, so the Wagner match was a probably a really tough physical match, so I'm assuming that Giancarlo came in more fresh than Hulk. Um, but this is why that being good at submissions is so important, because it keeps your work rate over the weekend much lower than the rest of these guys who are doing 15 minutes of wrestling every single match. It gets tiring. If you could just go out and submit the guy in five seconds or you know a minute, it's a lot, it's a lot easier from there. It's a lot easier to work. Um, because you're not doing nearly as much work. And you see from here, <clears throat> good wrestling exchange. So he shoots, Giancarlo stuffs it, goes front headlock, or front chest lock rather. Hulk does a good job of climbing from the legs up to the body, gets a body lock, double unders on Giancarlo, tries to go inside trip. Giancarlo separates the hands by going Uchimata. He wizards him down. Another wizard versus underhook on the knees. And this is when I knew that Hulk was going to be in some trouble because Giancarlo is a good scrimmager from here. So I knew that worst case scenario for Giancarlo, they'd end up back up on their feet. 
best case scenario for Giancarlo, who'd end up on top. I knew that Hulk wasn't going to out scrimmage him from there, um, and they ended up back on their feet. And you see Hulk walking back in with his hands on his hips, and now we're past the midway match, midway point of the match, where we're at nine minutes remaining, eleven minutes have gone, and uh, you know Hulk. Hulk's a warrior. He's 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 a fighter for sure, um, and he's tired, but he's he's hanging in there. But there's only so much you can do when your body starts failing you and you're just are so tired you just can't even hold yourself together anymore and you see that is starting to occur it's like he's like beyond tired now like he's dying the monster judoka who's been training at new wave he's helped these guys develop their foot sweep game uchimata's from the standing position feel like that's been the secret weapon at New Wave Jiu-Jitsu. And Padoni now on top of Hulk. I think Hulk's starting to fade a little bit. You see yeah, him taking yeah. deep breaths out of his mouth. Right there, wasn't quite ready to recover from the attack. Yeah. Look at Padoni all over it now. Padoni gets to the back of Hulk. So you see from here, Giancarlo shoots a double. So he fails. Hulk sprawls. And then Hulk tries to go get up, but Giancarlo just like pushes him down because Hulk's so tired. Hulk tries to lock a single. Giancarlo sprawls, separates the hands, goes for a go-behind, and it ends up fully locked body triangle on Hulk's back where now from here it's 3-0 he's got eight minutes left and you see from here this is exactly what I'm talking about the layered approach so this you see the second John Carl gets his back and scores I mean Hulk's tired so you can give him that but there's just no defensive hand fighting almost whatsoever like John Carl gets his back Hulk just has his hands in the complete wrong position John Carlo before the points are even on the board, has a fully locked strangle. And then from here, is trying to strangle him. And then so Hulk does a good job. He actually, Giancarlo doesn't have a fully locked, he actually thumb post and he breaks the grip. And now Giancarlo's up 3-0 with eight minutes remaining. And now you see Hulk's trying to go in and put his defensive hands in place. And so you just see Defensive hands working here. You see no real attempt at escape. You just see Hulk trying to survive, basically. There's no real defensive structure besides just trying to keep your hands in place long enough to survive, I guess. But now Giancarlo took the body triangle out. So now he's got six points. Now he's up 6-0 because he replaced the body triangle. And now Hulk has both of his arms elevated over his head. Giancarlo's trying to go for a reverse figure four top lock, but Hulk pulls the arms down. And you see there's some defense from Hulk. He tries to explode out in a way, but Giancarlo's pretty sticky. And you see Hulk's kind of just Hanging out here, doesn't really know where to go as far as defense goes. He's just trying to keep his hands in, in place and kind of hope for the best here. He's not trying to separate the body triangle. He's not trying to off-angle a center line. He's not really doing any of the things you need to do to escape. He's kind of just trying to stop Giancarlo from strangling him. But you see now he uses a cross wrist here. He's trying to trap his arm. He takes the body triangle out. Now he relocks it. So now he should have, if it, there was enough time there, he should have another three points. I don't know if it was three seconds or not. Yes, three seconds. Now he's got now he's up nine zero with six minutes left. Now he's got a hand across, but not underneath the chin. Now he's got two hands over trying to neck pommel. And now he's got a hand underneath the chin. And now he locked it up wrist to wrist and he finished Hulk from the back with Roughly six minutes remaining, so 14 minutes into the match, he's up 9-0, and he finished him. Um, so pretty similar, actually, to how the match with me and Andre played out. Um, I think we were like uh, you know, 16 or so minutes into the match, 15, 16 minutes, and uh, I was up 12-0, and then I finished him from the back. So um, you know, pretty, uh, pretty similar outcome um, with the two Atos guys, um, with me and Giancarlo and uh, Lucas and Andre. Um, but like I said, I, th I just thought that Giancarlo was just so... So much more advanced than Hulk at this point, um, especially because Hulk, you know, has been training not at Atos, he's been training in Oregon and uh, kind of just focused on teaching. And John Carlo, you know, made a uh, he made a big life decision um, to move to Austin and start training with us. And from the time that I met him, 
uh, until the time that he competed in ADCC. I mean, it was like two completely different people. Um, and uh, I think everyone saw that, this ADCC, and the next one's going to be fun for him as well.